Hey guys, Philip from Pink and Tasso here and welcome back to my channel. Am I crazy for clock? Well, maybe just a little bit, but I do have an amazing project today. Just look at this antique Ansonia clock that I got from a flea market. I have so many ideas what I want to do with it, so let's begin. As any of my projects, we will begin from taking everything apart and preparing the clock case for cleaning. I already see a few challenges with this clock. One of them is how to clean this beautiful carving on a clock face. I decided to use a stripping gel that I'm gonna apply on a clock case, wait 30 minutes, and then scrub the old varnish off. I got two painting knives that will help me to scrub the old varnish from the small spots. So you saw that I use many different tools. So I start from a paint stripper and clean the surface with knives and metal brush. Then I use my rotary tool that was extremely helpful and just clean the, all the carving elements. Okay. I think I did my best to try to clean this old carving and we are ready to start priming. And as usually, I'm going with my 1 to 3 bull's eye primer. The primer finally has dried up with two layers and I'm ready to start painting with a matte acrylic. Let me explain you what I just did. For the inside of the frame, I use the technique of layering acrylic. So I start from the darker shade and I put four different layers and every time I've been adding more white to my primary color. So I created a shadow effect. For the rest of the frame, I put a nice mint color and then draw the vertical stripes by using slightly darker shade and sponge. In the very beginning of the project, I was thinking to use a stain after I finished painting, but right now I like the color so much and I'm afraid that the stain can really mute it down. So uh, I decided to keep it as is and just seal it with a clear gloss. While the clear gloss is drying, let's work on additional elements for the clock. I'm talking about the pair of this little lovely deer antlers that I'm already painted in a dark pink color and I'm gonna use the same technique that I just did with the clock case. I'm gonna apply a layers of acrylic in different shades to create dimension. Looks like all parts are ready so we can put the clock together. Thank you. 
Dear Clock is complete and I think it was truly magical project. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If so, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave some comments below. And as always, craftfully yours, Philip from Pink and Tassel.